Hi there, and welcome to our yet to be titled fashion series. As I said in our previous vlog, we're going to watch movies one week and we're going to review fashion looks the next week. Hope, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. So, we're going to review five fashion looks and then we're going to review, this is from Paris Fashion Week by the way, and then we're going to review five celeb carpet looks from Paris Fashion Week this year. We're going to say four we like and we're going to say one we don't like so much from both categories. Hope, what's your first one for fashion? Well, this is so funny, so we briefly just looked at each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, so I took like three looks from the Maison Margiela show. Obviously, this look will be appearing on camera now, so. Like, I'll also show you because yeah. I have it here. Both had one, but I like, had one that slightly usurped it from the sh same show, which is this one here. For me, it was my favourite. So, and the reason this one won out for me, one, it's all black, black, it's my favourite colour, um, for it to be a really layman's reason. But, the lapel, the drapery of the lapel just like stole my soul. It was so beautiful. I absolutely love John Galliano, who's currently the creative director at Maison Margiela, and he's my favourite designer of all time. And his construction, his drapery, it just, I love it so much. And I just thought this was like the, the, zen, the peak zenith um, of beauty from that show because of how the fabric moves. It's just done so well with the pin tucks at the bottom of the skirt. Um, so yeah, so that was my number one. I love it so much. Nice. Well, the only thing, can I say, I'll say a negative? Yeah. I actually really liked, and this is part of the reason this one out as well, the shoes, the white on the shoes in that look. Your look has the black shoes. Yeah. And I liked this almost like it looked like it had been painted over shoes. I don't know, like white polished. Yeah. I really liked that. The only thing that I didn't like was the toe in the shoe, is that separation? Yeah, they've got that on the other one as well. Yeah, it's like throughout the collection. So it makes it look like a with yeah, I don't know if you can see that. And well, I they always see it on screen. Yeah, um, and I don't know why it gives me the absolute, I, like I don't like feet, and I, <laughs> something I like about shoes is you can't see feet, I don't want to see the details of feet yeah. through shoes. Yeah. Um, so that's my only like, to, to give a negative of the positive. Um, that was my only thing I didn't like, but I mean, it's just perfection. It's just utter perfection. I would say just, just listening to uh, that dialogue there, this is very much going to be someone who knows the technical side of fashion and someone who doesn't have a clue. <laughs> um, my most compared to that are like, looks good. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> no, I have a degree in fashion business and also like I do love John Galliano. John Galliano is like Matt Tarantino. He is the person that I first saw fashion through. So for me, it's like he is my like my gateway drug into fashion. I love him so much. So his work will never not be perfection to me. So I'm extra enthusiastic about his looks. So my first look that I like from the fashion side is from Balenciaga. For me, when I consume fashion, when I look at fashion, I want it to seem high fashion. I want to be transported into another world. I don't want it to be relate. I don't want it to be relatable. I don't want it to be comparable. I want it to look like a Bond villain slash person from another planet. Okay. That's I want like ethereal otherworldly. Yeah. And this outfit very much is like that for me, like, you know, did they just come from another world? Are they a godlike figure? Are they a Bond villain? Yeah. Are they better than me? I hope so. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I that so it gives me that it gives me that different it's, but it's hyper stylish and it really sets a tone. It's like almost telling a story. Oh yeah, for sure. I think that also for me, not that this that would have been in Fifth Element, but it gives me Fifth Element. Yeah, vibes. so it's giving us like dystopian, like elitist, high fashion, yeah, dystopian, super which obviously high fashion. Gautier done Fifth Element if you're not familiar with Fifth yeah, Element, did, yeah. so obviously has a high fashion lean. But yeah. I think that that look could have been in that yeah. movie and it would have been seamless. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like the. The High Council and Krypton when they were deciding, you know, <laughs> Superman's fate. It's giving that to me, it's giving yeah. Dune. So I, I I just absolutely loved it. That's number one on my list. Yeah. What, what's number two on your list? God, I feel like I really went on about mine and your No, but you, 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 will, you will be the main body of this work, basically. We're all we're pinning all our votes on you. That's funny. Um. So my second look is Incredible. from Vivian Westwood. Those shoes. <sighs> the shoes. I mean, everything, I think probably the shoe is another thing that elevated it to another level for me. I didn't mean that as a pun because he's wearing very high heels. Um, I love these kind of shoes. Obviously, Westwood is like the absolute queen of these kind of shoes. I just love them so much. It just, I don't know, it just brings me so much joy. I love the particular colour of this look. Like, it's just the perfect muted sage. Yeah, I also think that model is really beautiful. Look, do you know what I mean? He, I think he really suits it. He does, he really suits it well. And then the hardware on this, I love it so much, like for you to see it. So the hardware is a brass, and I think 
is the perfect complement to the sage of the suit but also I think hardware is something where obviously in high fashion we get it right but I think it's something when fashion trickles down and often is the thing that cheapens the look because yes. you can have a really nice piece and then it'll be like a gaudy gold or it'll be a silver or it'll be like Those a black plastic buttons on your soft suits yeah mm -hmm. like and it is such the thing like I think um, hardware and top stitching are the things that really will make or break a look and I just thought this was perfection then on the waistcoat they went for a different finish and it's again well I, would, I don't know if it would be no with them it very much could be but I liked it it was still within a warm tone of a finish but it wasn't the same as the outer wear I love that so much and then of course I mean it's it's Westwood so the tailoring is just perfection and there's just some really nice details like the wear the waistcoat you'll see it tapers down and then it goes in mm. and there's just I think that's again one of the reasons why we all love Westwood is just the details of where one line meets another and yeah I mean that was why it's I very much an outfit it's like greater than the sum of its parts it's, it? yeah, yeah it's exactly it's greater than the sum of its parts and the shoes are incredible I love these shoes which is so funny as well because my friends think this is funny it really reminds me of when we were like 18 and used to wear Jeffrey Campbell's if anyone's familiar and I'm five foot three so anything to make me close to being tall I love and Jeffrey Campbell's are like these except Cheap sad version of them. I, I remember you talking about this. I love them. <laughs> I'm not a sentimental person, but I don't keep a lot of things. But one thing I do have is my Jeffrey Campbell still nice. in a box. I nice. would I never have a reason to wear them now, but they're just they're of a time when I was tall and I love the time funny. when I was tall. And um, one more thing I'll say this, which is funny because it's quite in contrast to what you just said about yours. What I love about this is that you could just wear this. For me, this is someone that like like, it's like, I want to be there when I grow up. To me, this person has a really cool job. They work in the city and they just look cool and their whole wardrobe is fantastic. Their whole wardrobe is that Devil Wears Prada montage when the fashion girls are all just pulling out their best outfit ever and it's just a regular Monday for them. That's what this guy's giving to me. It's I want to live in this world. Giving comprehensively stylish. Yeah. Comprehensively fashionable. So my number two is also from Mason Margiela and it is obviously a very comparable look to the one that Hope just spoke about. So our number one. I just love it because again, it gives high fashion. It's giving period, obviously, with the shorts. And if you can see any of my content, you know, I like short shorts and skirts. So, you know, there's flavours of that. Again, it's ultra high fashion. You wouldn't just wear it, although I would applaud anyone who would just wear oh, it. Oh yeah, I mean, if, yeah. If, if you're just wearing this on the reg, yeah. can we be friends? And you're I think you're amazing. Yeah. yeah, 100%. But again, I really like the detail and I like the collar. I like, like the material. I don't like the shoes, just to hark back to what Hope said about the shoes and the other one. I don't really understand what that's all about. I love the socks. Dude, I love the socks. I love the socks. I love like the ribbon on the socks. I just think it gives such an extra flavour. And again, I mean this boy wears incredibly, yeah. but like it just gives luxury, it gives high fashion, it gives, you know, 17th century France. It, do you know what I was gonna say? It's like the, the ribbon on the socks is like it's like preppy meets French Revolution, like there's just something. Yeah, so. like I, I think it's Louis XIII and it's like Sun Garden or something like that. <laughs> do you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah, it's yeah. giving that but in a really, really good way and yeah, I just so think it's absolutely intuitive. I also think like I don't know what the fabric of, of the bottles is made out of, but the, for it being black, it's kicking light really well, so you can see the detail of the ruffling. Um, it's, I don't know if it's just pictured really well or if that is more the fabric, but I feel like it is a fabric choice because it's both black on the bottom and black on the top, but the bottoms are kicking light better. The contrast of the colours between the shorts and the jacket is really, really good too, and mm. the detail around the shorts is absolutely incredible. I have no idea how you can do that, you probably do. But yeah. No, to be fair, Matt. It's been a long time since I've been pattern cutting. Could I make this? No, I definitely could not. Yeah. There'd probably be some pens left on it if I was making it. That's funny. But I mean, absolutely incredible. Love it so much. And again, for me, in the tone that I like, certainly in high fashion, when it's kind of a world apart, it's escapism. Yeah. I like that. And I also find it very aspirational. Yeah, I aspire to wear something like that one day, taking my kids to school. Yeah. Or probably go for a coffee. I don't want their sticky flavour. <laughs> uh, fashion outfits for sure. Hey, don't touch me. Yeah. Yeah. No! Sorry, okay. sorry. No, but like a date night or just like yeah. a. Yeah. My third piece is from the Rick Owens show. And I really had a tough time picking which of the Rick Owens ones, so I'll show you. And um, this is the one that I went for. Incredible. Now, the last few of the Rick Owens, which is what I showed you earlier, are perfection to me. 
because this is a ready to wear show, I picked this one because I think like the benefit of this one, apart from the shoes, which I don't like, this I'm not meaning to make this a running theme about shoes. I think that people could actually recreate this pretty well. Like it's a long leather scarf, it's a cool leather jacket. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Um the only thing would be like that veil, how you yeah. can make that. But to be fair, you can make that really easily. But I don't think people are going to, but the rest of the outfit, I mean like that is just like Really cool proportions, really cool fabric, and people could recreate that. I mean, I think that's something that Rick Owens is incredibly famous for, is how is manipulation of proportions. And I really like this with this look, and again, it's one of these things for me. That's something that people could do, but it would look really cool. Yeah, it looks incredible. Yeah. Do you follow Tyrone Dillon? I don't know who that is. He's this guy, he works at Rick Owens, he's oh, also right. like a muse for Rick Owens, and he's like, he's Australian, he's like six feet ten, so I don't know if you know this, but I mean, I bet Rick Owens is tall. Rick Owens is really tall. But he's also got those yeah, platforms to be next yeah. to that guy. I think, um, I'm sure I saw him at an event and he's like six feet, maybe he might even be seven feet. That's so cool. But um, yeah, he's just like a beautiful man, but um, no, you know, obviously okay. he's, yeah, he's, he's yeah. definitely worth a follow. But no, I agree, like, you could recreate that with some effort. Yeah, and like, I, I mean, not, I think, not that difficult. You yeah. could just wear something that had a hood and underneath like the leather jacket. I just think the proportions are so cool in it. I just, I did love that show all together. I just thought it was such a beautiful show. And I liked as well to see God, like, you can see in the pictures, like the people are wearing contacts are blacking out their eyes. Oh, and I thought that really lended well to those last few looks, which mm -hmm. you can show a picture of as well, I can show you. I love little details like that. I, I love it so much, like the last few, oh, like that. They also have a stage green as well. And also on the show, there was like pink smoke and yellow smoke. And it just it screams down to me, yeah. and again, if it screams down to me, it's perfection. Yeah, it does. Like, the, the eyes, that's what I was The eyes too. and the outfit, like the gloves, like the attention yeah. to detail. And I just love when I fab like a whole outfit is one colour. I love that so much. Like yeah. the effort to go through and like dye everything to perfection because there's different fabric types. So that you'll be there, like source that, I think dyed it, I think it would have to be. I love that so much and the attention to detail is just perfection. Yeah, it's giving other world royalty. It's a hundred percent giving other yeah. world royalty. And something else that I think like this for me is really cool. The black contacts are really cool. This is like high fashion doing high fashion as opposed to it would have almost been a worse one, but it's not. But there's like a hood and glass like a white hood and glasses and lipstick. I've got a picture of it as well, I can show you. And I'm like, for me, this is reading perfection and it's like what this was trying to do but didn't whatsoever i'll show you what it is i would also say why not mix it up go to an event wearing a veil i think it's so cool I, you know, sure this is such a statement i again if you can see my content probably not i don't think we should be confined by any sort of norm no. when it comes to fashion or really any sort of societal norm as long as you're not hurting anyone no as long as i was like as long as whatever you do is safe sane and consensual yep. it's absolutely fine yeah gender norms fuck them like societal norms of like what's appropriate to wear at this place fuck that off yep. as long as you're like warm go for it a million percent everyone deserves a life safety and dignity but yep. apart from that do whatever you wish. Do and you? I really think that'd be fashion. Why not go high fashion to an event that isn't generally high fashion? Yeah. I just think, like, spice up your life. <laughs> do you remember Andrew Murray with that? Andy yeah. Murray? They were like, uh, Jerry Halloway and Michael McIntyre, like, break into his hotel room for some sort of comedy charity event. Yeah. Then she goes, Colours of the World. He's like, spice up your life. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Funny. Uh, Yeah, I'll put the yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm contrasting it oh. to. That's for me. Um, as I mentioned earlier, so like a... It's giving Bo Selecta. Do you know, it's giving Bo Selecta, but do you know what it's more giving for me, like, this compared to the Rick Owens? It's giving for me that this has been a group project, the other four members have <laughs> curated the rest of the outfit, and the person that was to do either the glam or the headpiece whack this nonsense on, and then they're going to give an elaborate speech as to why it's so cool, and it's like, it's not cool, it's lazy. Yeah. Um, that's what it's reading to me. Who's that? This is in the Westwood show. Oh really? I know. Like what? Like what was going on? This is like a really rudimentary thing to say, but it still has to look good. Yeah. And that's the justification for me where you can go as left field as you want, but it still has to be aesthetically pleasing. Can't look. This is also given for me, you know, in um, Atlanta with Teddy. I feel like this is something. Yeah, that yeah, and it's giving um, 90s charity shops that mum used to take us in before they were vintage, but we were just poor. Yeah, it's giving that. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's giving like. Um, it's also giving. 80s monster bad plastic surgery so hiding the face yeah i don't i i, I just I really, hate it I, I hate it it makes me feel sad yeah i just so, don't like it so much and i think like um, that 
that compared to like again the records is the they're doing it well of being like out there and cool yeah. and like somewhat dystopian so fashion. Man. And this is no. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> My third look is from Rock or Roke. I have to Google how to say it. I'm sorry if anyone from the band is watching and I've done that wrong. I didn't mean to offend and I will do my due diligence and pronounce it correctly the next time. Yeah, I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. This for me is giving like 90s office worker. If that office worker was a millionaire and had really good style, it's giving me someone that has to be somewhere because it's kind of formal. Yeah. But who has incredible taste. I don't know exactly the avatar who would wear it, but someone with really good taste anyway. I think it's great, again, I think this boy wears it incredibly. But again, the details, the cohesion in the outfit, the fact that it is giving like semi-formal, but it's still really, really high fashion. I love the bag, like, yeah, I also love the leg warmer over the shoe. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that. Yeah, the tones in it are just, the, yeah, the totally baggy like, mushroom incredible. is lovely. Also the tie detail is really nice. It is, it's given like, not someone that works in finance because it's too cool, but it's like yeah. power outfit, but someone in a high position creative role. I think they have summed that up perfectly. It's not in the Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not, it's not, it's not that. It's not giving <laughs> that, but I do enjoy that fashion, but it's not that. It is giving someone who worked at Vogue or something in the 90s. I think it's just really, really beautiful. Yeah, I someone to wear it. that works at Condé Nast, like it, like it is that, yeah. it's so giving that. And I would just feel like an absolute powerhouse walking down the street. Oh, yeah. You'd feel like I've won. Yeah, that's, again, like for me, it just makes me think like, I live in a home that's being curated by the lifestyle co. Yeah. They've got an amazing YouTube channel coming on it. Just perfection houses, like the most indulgent wardrobe and like stuff like that hanging and your life is just great. Yeah, and I live in, in like a duplex in Gettys Village or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, that, the American and, Gardens building. Yeah, the American right? Gardens building, yeah. Or in the name, Denzel Washington American Gardens, everybody's like, I'll take it. Yeah. No payment plan, no whatever. Do you know, something like that. And a flat in an American building costs seven million. Yeah, it's incredible. Like again, there's a, there's something quite simplistic about it, but in the way that like when luxury does simplistic, the details are still perfect. And I saw throughout the show there was quite a lot of asymmetrical stuff, and I like for me it's it's so hit or miss with asymmetric stuff. And some of it was like really indulgent one side and nothing, and it was like all oh, looks so uneven. But for me, this just looks like really well done. Yeah, I was gonna say like the they say that the difference between like premium and luxury is the premium you get some utility for the extra you spend, but the luxury you're buying a brand name essentially. Yeah. There's no like tangible utility, and I would say that obviously luxury products are luxury and they are exponentially expensive based on a name, but. There is a premium element as well because when you buy luxury, the quality is better. Like you can tell from that material, that looks and feels great on. The cut yeah. of that is perfect. So I, I think that like you can really see where the money's went. I and mean, uh, it's mind blowing. Yeah, it's I, 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 I can't, I can't, like, <laughs> it, and it's one of those things. Probably the fabric was decently expensive, but really what you're paying for is like the master craftsmanship that's been made in yeah. this. Like when you look at it you can see like the way it's been finished like the, the fold over line but even though that's a white fabric you can't see her throughout it no. so again either it's been lined or it's it's a very well chosen fabric because it's moving well but it's not sheer and then i love and the elongated cuff i think it's such a lovely detail i really like that so much but i just yeah it's just to perfection and i do love like a collar on a shoulder on show yeah like, also like lovely the about details that. with the kind of the choker necklace and these sandals like because yeah. those sandals i don't know if that's the correct term for them are often done badly oh so poorly the calf looks like a chocolate <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, like yeah, yeah 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 and that's how you wear them you yeah know, more like a freak when you wear them for she's sure. really doing bits of them and um, it's done well, like the, the detail in there to the necklace. And I love the glam as well because the outfit's so simple and her hair's off her face. It's just a really minimal glam. I think that is lovely. And you can't really see it because this is a forward pose here, but the shoes are so pointy. They're like razor sharp. And I noticed that in a few of the shows, there's some really good pointing shoes and they look great. Nice. Yeah. Nice, love that. Four. My fourth look is from Sakai. My fourth and fifth looks are actually from Sakai. And I just think it's literal perfection. It's bold and it's elegant. It is extremely high fashion, but I can still see this girl going for an ice cream in the streets of Paris in this in the summer. Like, it's just beautiful, it's so feminine, the material looks incredible. I love the cut, but it's exposing like a bit of chest, a bit of collarbone, but she's still completely covered up. Yeah. The arms are nice, I love the skirt, I absolutely love the contrast of the skirt with the top. Mm -hmm. 
again, I think the details, I think the chain makes it beautiful. The boots are good, I like how there's a bit of a platform, I like how there's a bit of like a, almost like an obnoxious platform, do you know what I mean, like what's really going on here. Yeah. I'm absolutely loving that. Yeah. Being yeah. six feet, I enjoy being six feet with a big heel on. Being so, five, do you enjoy being anything above five? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and I just think like this girl looks absolutely incredible on it, but it, it's yes. giving ready to wear fashion and elegance all at the same time, yeah. but also with a really like, obviously aspirational element to it, like it's obviously not a cheap outfit. No, for sure not, but I do think you're right, I think that can be recreated, like I could totally see Sophie Murray in that and be like, she's given the top tips of what to wear of Zara and she's just looking fantastic on a holiday with her boyfriend being really cute. Yeah, I think the cut would be difficult to recreate, but I definitely think you could, you know, you could definitely paraphrase this outfit. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, I just think it's beautiful, and like I say, um, for whatever reason, I can really see this outfit within a situation. Like mm -hmm. I, I can see it in Paris in the summer. I'm um, going to pick this one because I'm less familiar with the designer, but I thought it was fantastic. Is the one that I showed you? Incredible. Is Peter Do or Peter Do? But it's D O, so I think Do. But I'm not sure. I will uh, look I, that I, up. I, I think it's Do. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But like again, this is one of these things where that is such a weird outfit. That is such a weird yeah. outfit, but it looks so cool. And the tones for me and I was trying to work out from because you can't really tell with this look but looking at the other ones are the trousers lie like line differently is it in the pleats that that's different fabric but I think it has two layers from looking at the other pieces but I just love it so much it also looks like an outfit of someone who works in fashion it does it really is given that because again it's one of those things that looks like well I can easily recreate that and then you go to do it and you really fall yeah. short <laughs> It's like that, what it looked like on the website, yeah, what it looks like. like on me, yeah, 100% yeah. is that, but it's just perfect and I just love the cover so much. Colors are beautiful. It's giving Kim Kardashian's home. But I do, I love it because it just, it looks like, I think like all great things, they look really simple, but they're not at all. There's genius in its simplicity. There really is, and it has like everything about it, the way that the colour changes, like mid peck but then the shoulder point is later and the collar is the perfect like, crew neck size again the proportions of the double layer of the trousers and both and these and from the Vivian Westwood trousers that I pointed out that I liked the button is over to the side those little details they don't have to be done by any means but I think they're nice and I think again it just adds that little level of luxury I agree and I also think see with those things like it's like does it make the difference doing them? Maybe, but it definitely makes a difference when you don't do them. Yeah. And it takes a nice outfit into an incredible outfit. Do you know what else I would say about that top? And this might sound kind of lame as terms, but like, that top is clearly one top. You know generally for tops maybe a bit cheaper or it's not as well made, you can very much see sleeve separation. You can see shoulder sometimes, the yeah. shoulder's kind of pointed in a yeah. bad way. Like, that top looks like it's tattooed on him, but in like a good way. Not that it's too tight, just that it's very uniform. Mm -hmm. Like, and you can tell again, like it feels like a clown when you put it on. No, 100%, and I do think that's something that's particularly true. And with the like Westwood one that I showed, the good one, um, obviously it's a suit jacket, so they don't have like external pocket squares, but I think that's something that, like, where you'll see something that's different between high fashion and something that you can get on the high street when not well made is that you can see the joins mm -hmm. or you can see the fabric's been cut in a different bias, especially when there's like a chest pocket on something. And I can get them, they're not trying to be wasteful and they're trying to use up like the fabric. But when you've cut something on a straight and then you're doing a chest pocket and you cut it on a bias and the fabric moves differently, it ruins it. Yeah. It ruins the silhouette. And I think that's the thing with that. I appreciate it doesn't have any additional layers, but from where they have dyed that or constructed it, I really am not sure. But there is, it just looks seamless. Mm -hmm. And again, I think that is it's the difference between like knowing how to make something and trying to make something. Yeah. My number five look is from Sukai again. Yeah, it's just everything. So, there's a similarity in the cut of the top to the previous look. However, I think the trousers make it slightly more preppy. Mm -hmm. Slightly more like really high end office wear as opposed to like, you know, leisure wear as the other one is. Yeah, the other one can be a resort wear and that's like more yeah. of a functional wear. Yeah, I mean, you could, again, you could argue you could wear both of them yeah. to either occasion. Yeah. But again, I just think it's great. I absolutely love the cut of the top. Again, I love the detail with the bracelet. I think the, the waistline on the trousers is beautifully done. Again, it's not quite giving 90s high fashion, but it's almost there with the trousers. Mm -hmm. I do think it has that prep element with the trousers. I really like the colour combos between the trousers and the top, and I just think it's elegant and beautiful and fashion all at the same time, but with giving ready to wear. I completely agree with all of the above. I do think that collection of really nice look colours throughout their colour palette is very well chosen. It's giving French Riviera. It really is. That's what I mean with like, it's sometimes I 
there can be like a ready to wear and a resort line. I don't know if everyone does them, I'm really showing my ignorance here. But that they're giving resort line colours to me. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Right, so that has been both done our number five. Now, controversy, some looks we didn't like. I had three that I really didn't like, and I'm kind of sneaking go in one with that Westwood yeah, one. Yeah. The bottom part of it was fine, I mean, it was whatever, but the thing that I actually hate, and I hate it for so many reasons, is from Balenciaga. Yeah, it just makes me sad. Again, it's giving, I don't want to say offensive, but I like, know. it's like trailer park connotations in like the worst possible way. Well, see, this is the thing for me, and this is what really, really annoys me about it, because because this is Balenciaga, this is socially acceptable, is it nothing? Because if you put that in someone that's socioeconomically deprived, they'd be like, what is this white trash camp doing? True. So that's what really annoys me about it, because I think it's like, it's like those videos which I absolutely love that people do and is it like, is it fashion or is she just thin? It's like, is it fashion or is it the, someone with a brand has went, I have flex here so I'm going to put together something that isn't nice but I'm going to make you say it is because I've done it. Yeah, then but, it seems like abstract and like out of the box thinking as yeah. opposed to just looking like shit. It's giving the good life of Paris and Nicole. The simple life. The simple life of Paris and Nicole. Do you know where it was like that naughty's fashion but it just looked yeah. like it scraped it all together out of a lost and found bin and it just was giving nothing? Yeah, like, apart from the glasses which are giving like sci-fi vibes are, what it's given to me is like someone has like slept over at their friend's house because it's got like fluffy pink heels. Someone slept over at the friend's house after a night out and had to scramble like some day wear clothes of like whatever they can fit into. Mm -hmm. That's what it's really like given to me, but just in the worst way possible. And the bag with all the crap on it is yeah. given to me. I can't remember the name of this brand, and honestly, no one will know it because it's awful. But there used to be a brand maybe like 15 years ago, I can't remember, but it had like all these fluffy, awful attachments. And it was very much, obviously like Juicy Couture has had a revival and like people are wearing them in a cutesy way but again it's giving the negative connotations of what that was. Ed Hardy? No, but no. It, this is also meeting Ed Hardy yeah. or something else that I can't remember. Honestly it's giving like, like Jersey, it was giving Yeah, Jersey Shore. It is giving Jersey Shore, um, the worst way. The thing I think about it is like, I would never wear that, like when is that appropriate? Because it's not appropriate for yeah, the Yeah, when is that appropriate? Like, never. You're never going to wear it day to day, it would always look ridiculous. The only way that you could try and justify it is with social proof and say, well it's fashion and it cost me five grand. Yeah, but it's Balenciaga. Like, and then you're, you're hiding behind the label, it's not good fashion. You know, so it's like, okay, so see Kendall Jenner could put that on. Do you know why anything looks good on Kendall Jenner? Because it's Kendall Jenner. Yeah, exactly. Not because it looks nice, it's just that if you put something ugly on a stunning model, the stunning model will make it wearable. Yeah. This isn't, it's just ugly. I agree. And I'm being really mean, but I hate it, and I hate it more so because I don't like when, if someone does it in a certain level of social or economical privilege, it's perfectly fine. And when someone that doesn't have that privilege does it, it's like, ugh. Yeah, it's no. if it's, Yeah, if it's ugh, it's ugh. It's not ugh because of your tax bracket. Exactly, I agree. My one I didn't like yes, <laughs> was from Chanel. And do you know that way when someone just decks herself from head to toe in designer and tries to justify it because it's designer but there's no cohesion to the fit at all? And what this looks like to me is when a millionaire has taken their child to a children's birthday party and just decked that child out in a designer outfit that looks obscene. Like, I hate it, I hate the cut, I despise the colour scheme and the pattern. <laughs> Like, I just think it looks, I mean, also, what it should be on our feet, that's not that bad. Mean. I mean, it looked okay with another outfit. I just hate every single thing about it. Like, I find it offensive on the eye. I just don't think it looks like it's made well. I'm not sure a lot of labour went into it. Yeah. It's cut better the material and all that. I just hate it. And again, I don't think anyone would look good in it. I think if someone did good in it, it's just because they inherently looked good. Yeah. Uh, as I say, it looks like what's, you know, Sutton from the New Housewives who put her daughter in to take her to a party in the 80s. <laughs> We are going to change tack and we are going to review some celebrity looks from Paris Fashion Week. Hope, what is your first celebrity look? The fashion queen. That is the one. The queen of the earth. She can yeah. do no wrong. She's good at everything. Mm -hmm. And we feel no bad word about her. Ever. Exactly. Ever. A venue. She's perfection. I would die to keep Zendaya safe. <sighs> She's just... I mean, her collaboration with Laura Roach is 
the perfect meeting of worlds. Like, there has never been, in my opinion, two creative people that have came together so perfectly. Like, she is the news of news. I just love everything about it. Her glam, the level of accessories, everything is just right. And again, like you said earlier, but when it looks, it's greater than some of its parts. She's an incredibly beautiful woman. She's wearing an absolutely gorgeous dress. The accessories are so pretty, but together it was, I don't know how many times I watched it when she first posted it, I've just been like, oh, yeah. Eva always says, and I, I agree, that if Zendaya decided to allocate more time to modelling, all the other models would be shitting themselves. Um, all the celebrities and the models would get all the good campaigns to think, fuck, she's come eat my lunch, because she would get whatever she wanted. Oh, I just because like, for me, Zendaya is to me now what, and I don't really know, I should know how to pronounce her name, she's one of my favourite people of all time, but Natalia Bodianova, like I have multiple pictures of her in my, I've got a black and white Peter Lindbergh inspired wall in the house, and um, she's on it multiple times because it doesn't matter what look you put it in, she just so, like, what's the word, she just has that look more than what anyone else could be. Mm. She just suits absolutely everything and I think that's true of Zendaya. Like when she's, not that this is glamorous, but when she's Rue, you're so unbelievably believing she's Rue. Yeah. When she's Maria, Malcolm and Marie, you're so believing that. And Dune, of course. And then with all these fashion looks, it doesn't matter what brand she's working for. She just, she suits them so much and she takes it to a higher level every time. I, I think Zendaya is that anomaly of like there's 7 billion people on the planet, so somebody had to turn out like that. Somebody yeah. had to be the perfect mix of like beauty, charisma, Style. She style, she's great. Like, likeability, mm -hmm. yeah. That's and like, she also seems really lovely. Yeah, and, and genuinely like a nice person. But I just love this look so much. It was just everything to me. The hardware on it. Again, it's one of those things, like, I'm, I'm sure companies will come out and try and recreate this, probably in a shorter version for Night Out. Yeah. And I think the thing that will lose it more than anything will be the hardware choices. But these were perfect. Yeah, but it becomes a pretty little thing. Yeah, it won't be a pretty little thing at all. No hardware, no cut, no fat, no good. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? There's no fat, there's no sugar, there's yeah. no, what is it? Yeah, no dairy or something like that. Yeah. No good, just throw it out. My celeb look that I like, number one, is the, which I uh, hope is also celeb. Yeah, I think that is good. Is Michelle Yeoh and Scarpinelli. It's giving Carl Lagerfeld for me. It is, the gloves. Yeah, the gloves. It's giving like 90s high fashion. I just think it's incredible. I know I reference 90s fashion a lot as if that's my only go to. Mm -hmm. It's like Friends, but it's from the period of your. That's yeah. I will say though, so throughout the shows, like I felt that um, different shows were really picking up with different eras. Like the Chanel show, I think did have like seventies inspiration. Then like obviously anything with big show, just it's like more of an eighties inspiration. Mm -hmm. I I think usually you'll see more cohesion over ages that they're referring to. But I don't think this year there was. So I think it's perfectly fine that you're referencing nineties. Yeah, and I also consider nineties fashion. Be the zenith of fashion, and they did reference that. And the supermodel was on Apple. Like that was when it came out. People still miss that. Yeah, I loved it. But I also think like it is giving Chanel, but it's also giving Chanel mixed with Versace for me. Yes, yeah. yes, it really is giving Versace. I didn't actually think about that. And it is also giving Chanel. I think she looks great in it as well. Like she does. I think Chanel goes with such like so much goodwill because she's so talented. She's been slept on for so long. Yeah, for She's finally just getting the right. Like the Jamie Lee Curtin. Oh her my name. god, it's so funny. But and yeah, not to be her friend also. Jamie yeah, Lee yeah, she's so like good. a real straight show. Love this. Like this is the zenith of fashion for me. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to ready to wear anyway, like stuff from this period, yeah. and this luxury, I would happily just wear stuff like this around all the time. I just think it's incredible. I don't have the words to articulate how much I love this outfit. I, I do think, like, I think it's, it is just perfection, again, the touch of the hardware, our glass has been a warm tone lens, so it's such a nice touch to go with it. And I also think, like, obviously Chris Jenner was at the shows because she's Chris Jenner, and I, I, all of her looks were really, like, wanting for me, and I get that every time we age, especially as women, it becomes more difficult because brands aren't making stuff for you in the same way, but I just thought this was perfection and someone could wear that at any age and it looked great, yeah. and it can be tailored to any size and you could look great. Yeah, again, it has a scale in some of its parts and she looks fucking wonderful. And whoever done her glam, her skin is really glowy and gorgeous. And I need to look up who that is because I want to follow them. They've done a good job. Yeah, absolutely love it. What is your number two look? Miss Jodie. Like, for me, she's just stunning. Obviously, it's the Bam Man show. To go straight to glam, since I just said about Michelle Yeoh, like her lipstick colour. Just matches just it perfectly. No, it really does. Like it's yeah. just this, like we're making the look top to top perfection. 
I love how simple it is. And I love also she has short hair, which you can't see because she's wearing a hat. She has short hair. And I can't remember what brand it was, but they had this like high ruched neck in one of the shows. But the model's hair was down, and I was like, oh, I'd just love to have that hair snatched back. Mm -hmm. So that this line of where the outfit ended was more on show, and I think like she is doing this to perfection. There is no hair in the way. The clothing, like the neckline finishes, and then it's just serving face. And I mean, obviously she's just serving body. It's legs yeah, and face. She's so perfect. And I just love the warm tones of it. What material is that coat? I know, I honestly don't know. Like it doesn't matter how much I zoom in on it. Because it looked like a glitter knit, which yeah. is obviously not that, it's I don't like know. Just a street. Yeah, in but in the best way. Yeah. Like, because there's so, there's hardly anything to say about it because it's so simple in a way, but yeah. yet it's so captivating in another. Yeah, absolutely. And also, cool. just to turn up in a show looking like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's one of those as well, the same way as India. Oh, oh, you're right, that's nice. Yeah, this is nice. yeah, yeah. She, um, she's just perfection. I think she always serves really well. My number three celeb look is Nelly Furtado at Raban. I think this dress is beautiful. I think the detailing is incredible. I think she looks great in it. I really like earrings and stuff like that as well. But I just think the detailing is incredible. Again, I'm harping back when it's given like 90s high fashion again to me. And I, and I just love it. Like I don't really know much to say about it. Again, I think just what Hope said for the previous outfit, I think it really speaks for itself. It's just a really, really aesthetically pleasing outfit. The cut is great and I think she looks great. And it really, really suits her. It suits her glam as well. The kind of makeup and stuff is matched really, really well to it. And I just think she looks absolutely incredible. Yeah, I also think it makes sense for someone like Nelly Furtado who her prime of her career was in the 90s and 90s that because fashion is allowing them to, they're seeking back the best version of themselves and their career and style. Yeah, and again, like this is clearly a very aspirational outfit like, and, it, and it really borders on ready to wear because it is very much like a runway look. Mm -hmm. But I, I just think it's really, really stunning. Yeah, I think she does it really well. And it's probably, I mean, I don't know much about Nelly Furtado, but it wasn't like I would expect her to show up in. To be fair, see when I see it in that, I don't know what she usually wears. Yeah, I don't I, know what I expect her to show up in. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm not used to seeing that and stuff, and I don't know if that's just my ignorance if I don't follow her. Yeah, it's um, just such a serve, and it's such yeah. like a fashion serve. Yeah. It just looks incredible. It's giving as well to me, like it's giving Monica Bellucci. I think that kind of elegance. Dolce Vita gorgeous. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So my last person then is Yara Shahidi. She done two looks that I really like. She done a red dress at Alexander McQueen. I, it was a gorgeous dress and I think it was even more gorgeous because it was on Yara Shahidi. But this one I thought was really cool. It's Yara at the, at the Dior show. Yeah, it's beautiful. I just, it's really beautiful. Yara Shahidi for me is also someone, like for me, her and Zendaya are actually on the same levels. As much as I don't think Yara gets the same, like, oh my god, fashion from her, but like, her look at the Met Gala, her glam in the Met Gala was a level of beauty that I'd like never seen before. She is so stunning and just everything, like, I love her brows so much, like, her glam is also just always perfection. I love, if you can see closely, it's so subtle. The peach tone of her eyes, shadow and her lip, mm. and it's like the perfect complement to the scarf. God, that scarf's incredible. It's so gorgeous, and I love the like the shirt. It's got such lovely details to it, but it looks so nonchalant. Like it's luxury nonchalant, yeah. and I think that's what like she really brings to it because this is again, it's something that looks very comfortable, very wearable, but it's cool as fuck. Yeah. And I just think that she is. So I just, I do, she's someone for me that doesn't matter what she brings, she just serves every time. Yeah, it's such a luxury of it, even though it's plastic. Yeah, because like when you look at the details, like the gathering, like oh, with the cuff, then like the pin tucks of the sleeve, mm -hmm. like there's little details, they're subtle, but again, it's what makes it premium. And that belt is a lovely belt, but it would only look good on her and in that outfit. Yeah. So yeah, I've stuck that belt on an empire line, I think, oh, that's awful. Yeah, because it's got butterflies, which is awful, yeah. which in one of the shows as well, I can't remember who. The rest, like, I love her on the belt and I was like, I'm sorry, what 90s child to yeah. be dressing up here, it was awful. Fun fact, you know the Italian word for butterfly? No. For Fali. Oh, that's I quite funny. like it. I like yeah. that too. My number three is Charlie Theron at Dior. I love this. I don't know what the proper term was for when everybody was just wearing their pants this time. Yeah. <laughs> and that sounds like crude. But I, everyone was doing that and I think when it was done well, it was such a serve. Under this, like, sort of, like, kind of Pedal chain mail skirt mm -hmm. uh, and the shirt, like a collaboration of moods, but it's so well. I hate this word and I hate saying this word in front of my sister. There's a sexy element to the pants. <laughs> Kill me now, put me to death with one of these lights. 
But then like the skirt and the shirt make it so tasteful. It's so cool. And she's so beautiful and she's so elegant and classy yeah. that like this outfit is kind of made for her. Like yeah. I just love it. I think she looks incredible. I do agree. I think like whenever those the, the sheer looks and I can get that people don't want to just turn up naked, is it's very difficult to be like what is the underwear that you wear because whatever you wear is going to get interrupted the other way. And obviously yeah. in that look it's a very high waisted skirt. And then you've got the underwear that starts here. And I do think we've done it well because there's so many options with that because it's leaning gold. Do you do something gold? God no. Yeah. Are you Kylie and whatever the hot pants era was? Do you do something nude but then you kind of look like a Barbie, not in like how we're loving Barbie, but like in the Barbie doll? Yeah. And it, it just works. I love it. I just think she looks absolutely incredible. I think she looks great. Yeah. She also does. And she has just missed the over. It's the Valentino pen Badgley. I think that's his surname. Yeah, how are you not going to be in Gossip Girl with a name like that? Yeah, yeah, as a name, it's <laughs> yeah. such a name. Do you know what was something I've just noticed and I will say? I'm really happy about his manicure because that's something for me as well. As much as I don't like feet and get a real thing about second hands that make me uncomfortable as well. I often notice that when I pick up things in reels that I hate my nails. I don't, oh, really? have, I don't have scabby boy nails, like I, I groom them every week and I just cut the white off them. That's yeah. the thing for me. But they like the cuticles and stuff always look a bit scabby. I've been You should, with my you should hands. get a naked manicure where you get nothing on it, but just. Yeah, I really should, you know me, I just hate leaving the house unless it's very unproductive. Yeah, but I think like hands for me are one of those things. I don't know if it was like Quavo recently done like a video and he was basically like, get your nails done. Yeah. And I know he's that rock, he's always been a man like that, he's oh, always talked about yeah. that. I mean, he used to do what I'd be like, my particular preference is for a man is have a manicured hand. But also have calluses in your hands from lifting weights. Yeah, I do think you should have <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You should have hands like you've done like some sort of manual labour. If not for your job, they're out your back door. Or you just you lift weights. Yeah. Just have big <laughs> fuck off hands. Yeah. Um but have manicured nails. I hate uh Frodo baggins. I've bitten my fingers down to the nut. I've bitten my fingers until the skin then yeah, surpasses the nail. What do you mean? Hate that. Hate that. Awful. And also do you wash your hands enough times a day to put your fingers in your mouth? No. Our grown out nails again. Oh, that oh, gives me oh. serial killer. Yeah, it does. It's terrifying. It does. I see a man with a grown out nail, I'm compelled to stare at I it can't until he moves himself. It's, again, it's, it's almost like it's not a phobia, that would be too strong. But it's, <laughs> it's close to it. <laughs> it's definitely a repulsion. I just. Same. You know, studies that I do, I play guitar, use a plectrum. Yeah, I know. Cut that talent off your finger. I know, oh, I don't. Oh, it gives me the heave. Yeah. It's so disgusting. Right. Um, um, that's um, so funny. So basically, pen and his manicure. Yeah, really the heat there. But, anyway, but yeah. again, I love it. Like, everything for me, obviously, this is for Valentino, but anything that's leaning like the Tom Brown aesthetic is what I would call it. I'm absolutely here for. I love a short, I love a skirt. I think it's really well done. I especially love it with like a boot and a contrasting sock or like a, a loafer and a contrasting sock like in the way of a dock. And yeah, I just love the tones. The grey is such a lovely grey. I like that they went black tie. The shirt is such a crisp white. The lines on this coat, again, like they have either died or because it's thread, I'm sure they could have done it, but it's perfect. It's seamless. And the lines, like whoever made this, is skilled. Look at that. That is perfection. It yeah, does not wave on. That is amazing. And like whoever made this, I mean obviously it's Valentino, but they are craftsmen of craftsmen. It's so beautifully done. And I think that's one of those things as well. Like in real life when you've seen this, the I feel like what centimeter, centimeter and a half of that stitching, the seams are just so perfect. I think in real life the detail would need a lot more. But it's so simple, but the detail is there. I love it. And I also don't think you can go preppy enough. I'm no. loving these vibes right now. Yeah, I was saying to my sister off camera, it is my ambition to be dressed by Tom Brown and also Valentino. Yeah. Like, I just think they are the fat end of the wedge of fashion. Obviously, Valentino has been for a long time, he's yeah. more recently, but like, just that. And also, like, fashion is the highest form of social acceptance. That's why everybody loves going to these shows and acting like they're not arse. I really know! <laughs> Oh, I just have to get yeah, ready for this show. Yeah, I have to be here, it's made my life, and I want that acceptance. Yeah. I want that warm, fuzzy feeling of Valentino dressing me. So, yeah. Or meeting Valentino. Oh like, my god, see, with, such an OG as well. So, when yeah, people are like meeting and greeting like the like, designer or something, like, I'll cut someone to get there, like I yeah. want to be there. I am so, I'm so, so happy. Now, I think Valentino. Yeah. Yeah. But I love that he's still, like he's his last name of his house. He's like, the only fashion designer, it's only the, the only house that is having there, isn't yeah. it? 100% owned by him and his name. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm sure when he passes you'll be a mage will come back. Yeah, what that up. I'm a big fan of LBMH though, so... Oh, I know, in yeah. um, Founders Podcast, I also yeah. listened to the Charlie Munger. Oh, did you? Did yeah. you? And it's funny because Charlie Munger always says, I have nothing to add. After uh, Warren Buffett and that's a lot of time years ago, I have nothing to add. No, but what I will also say on this, I feel like with every look, I have waffled until the end of time, and then you had a really quick summation, which is also how I just generally articulate myself, and Mike is the most concise person of life. Um, I, I think that's also because my sister does her due diligence and it's ultimately a much harder worker than me, whether I no. just do what I can to get by. That's not true, I just am a waffler. I'm no, so she's not, she's not, she's full of knowledge. Number four is Kelly Rowland at Lancome. At first I was just struck by Kelly Rowland because the woman doesn't age. She doesn't, she's, she's kind of going to or something in that house. She looks incredible she and this is just such a stunning yeah. statement dress. Yeah. She looks like a princess, she, she looks like a look fashion like a model. Princess. She is beautiful and the fact that this picture was taken in the Louvre as well is so fitting. Like a stunning background from a stunning human being. Yeah. She is incredible. I really, I mean, the corset or bodice or whatever that is of that is obviously beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, it's great with the, um, the drape and the tail of the dress or whatever you call it. But I um, and the details and stuff are beautiful. But she is just so beautiful and she's just wearing this dress so much. I was just really captured by the image. I think Kelly Rowland is one of the most beautiful people of all time she's for me. Incredible. She is so yeah, probably somewhat underrated. Not maybe before, but now because you don't hear about her as much. Certainly in this country, maybe in America, you still hear about her. Even lot. so, though, like because obviously she was in Destiny's Child and Beyonce is Beyonce, I feel like she's always been given that slight narrative of like. Uh, like second fiddle. Yeah, and I think that it's such a shame because she does have an incredible voice. Yeah, she does. Like she, she, she could have always been a solo star by herself. Mm -hmm. And then also, I just think she is unbelievably stunning in her glamour. That's gorgeous. Beautiful, great shoulders as well. Those delts. Yeah. Those delts, she is like for me. If you have delts, like I don't, the woman that plays Sarah Connor and how she was in the Hardy documentary, I, I should know her name. Yeah. I feel bad for not her name. Her cat delts <laughs> are an aspiration for me that I will know I will never get to, but will for that would be like a lottery one for me. If I one day work to the point of having those cat delts, would be like that same like internal warmth of being like. Yeah. I fucking need it. Yeah. Well, Arnold even commented on her yeah. arms. It's like, how the fuck have you got better I, arms than me? Yeah. Yeah, but um, Kelly great arms. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Final celeb look is Hayley Bieber at Lulu. Again, I don't know the term for this, but yeah. she's doing the current pant fashion thing. Yeah. I'm sure designers will scoff at me for calling it. No, I mean, I, I think it's like every few years there is, there is the renaissance of underwear is out where we are. Never done better than John Gallian with Dior, in my opinion. You know, um, but like every few years, underwear is out where it becomes a thing again and it's happening yeah. again in a big way. But also, when you have legs like Hailey Bieber, why yeah. would you not? I just think this look is absolutely incredible from start to finish. The kind of gold lock belt thing yeah. on her pants are incredible. The black like leather coat. Yeah. The polo neck, again, that tone and the way it fits, obviously with our glam and our glasses are fucking amazing. Perfect. Like the slip back, she just looks like perfect. She has just very face. Yeah, but I just think that outfit couldn't be more stylish. I think every element of that works 10 out of 10. No, I completely agree. I think like the very like muted camel colour beige mm -hmm. is perfect for her skin tone and for the contrast of the black. I love those colours so much together. Again, to, to make it homeware, Lifestyle Co, who I mentioned earlier, they do a lot of those colours together, like muted beige tones with an accent of black, and like it's, it's perfect. Yeah. And that is perfect. She's just gorgeous. That outfit. I, I don't know, I was going to say that I even know that she is incredibly beautiful, but I've never really bothered about her. Like she doesn't register for me in the attractive scale. Yeah, yeah. But I think she looks absolutely incredible. Yeah, I, would but include I, that. I really include this outfit as like perfect. I think it is absolutely perfect. Yeah, I think, do you know, like, because I'm been watching John Wick recently because the director done a really good interview on Blend. I got the term kick light from, but again that jacket does and I think she looks like she can seamlessly walk into the night shoots of that movie and that outfit and be like, who's this cool villainess? Like, yeah. she looks epic. I think it's perfect. Now, uh, we have the unfortunate job of revealing whose outfit we hate and because my sister and I have such a mental affinity and are essentially twins, even though three years between us, mm -hmm. We have chosen the same person yep. without lazing over it at all. Nope. Sister, you want to do the honour? No, you go first because I've definitely talked way more. I think the outfit that I really, really hate it's is so Usher at Marnie. I think it is an abomination. It's I think it's obnoxious. I think he looks like some sort of comedic pimp from a film. Yeah. I just hate it. I see what it's trying to do. Usher is a handsome man. Yeah, and, um, and the Chanel look that he done. Yeah. It was it was great. It was so great. It was. I was surprised to see Usher at a fashion show. Ava informed me that he's still relevant. 
Um, if I'm going to be a hater, there was a lot of people at Fashion Weeks this year that I was surprised to see, and I thought, I hope when I make it to be there, if you're not there, because you'll spoil it for me, it'll feel less special. That's funny. However, obviously, um, I digress. Usher is a very handsome man. Oh, he's so, he's again, he's so he doesn't really age either. Yeah, from, like, he really doesn't, yeah. he does not age. Um, but also he dances, like, do you know, he's obviously, he's always, yeah. always been in shape, like, he's clearly yeah. someone who lives a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, too. agreed. So, like, no hate to Usher, I just think this outfit was a major swing and a miss, and it was a swing and a miss, you know, as much as it's possible to miss. Because when you make such a statement like this outfit, it either really works or it really doesn't. Yeah. Then you're totally committed with this, with this outfit, and I applaud the commitment. Yeah, I, um, yeah. I just think it uh, really, really, really doesn't work. It's a caricature of what an outfit like that should look like. The shoes, for me, are the worst part. I hate that they look like Mario, like Mario, Luigi Mario. Yeah. This looks like those kind of shoes. I was thinking someone that worked at a power plant. Oh, yeah. Just a different colour, you know. Yeah, it's, it's given very much like these have to be functional, but yeah. in red. Part of like an HVAC outfit. Yeah, it's 100% that yeah. hazmat suit stuff. Hazmat, sorry, sorry. Yeah, what I initially thought of it, it looks like a pimp, Coella Deville and Psychedelics. That's what it's yeah. giving to me. Yeah. And I really don't like it. The only thing I will say is because I had like a backup when I didn't like which I also showed you. At least for this one, there's a swing. It's a mess, as you said, but at least it's a swing. My other one that I just oh, guessed was this a passion. Is, this is and again, no shade to her, I'm sure she's absolutely lovely and I feel mean. But I, she'll never see this, and um, I hate this with a passion. Agreed. Because for me, it dies with a whimper. It does. It really does. Like it's just day to night office wear in the worst way. I hate that scar. Yeah. Ignominious office Christmas party. I got this from Topshop, and it's socially acceptable, so I wear it. Yeah, it's just it's so ugly. I hate the scar so much. But at least with the Usher one, it's like at least he's trying to do something. I would rather try and fail than uh, try at all. Yeah, I'd rather die on my shield. Yeah, and for me, like the other one. I mean, I don't think it was socially acceptable at the same point on, but it's like this socially acceptable. Oh, it's just a pencil skirt and a blouse kind of thing. That's awful. And that's somehow fashion. Yeah, but it's just and that's somehow wearing clothing. It's not. It's ugly. Wear something. I would rather like if I had to wear one of the two, which oh, I would see. never be caught in either of these. Do you wear the mine? So at least feel like I'm doing yeah, something. Yeah, it's at least a statement piece, and if it's not to your taste, it is to my taste. I've worn it, I yeah. love it, and it's bold, and it is fashion. Yeah. So. I mean, it is technically. Yeah, it is, yeah, <laughs> it is technically. It is technically. We're going into semantics, but yeah. personally, I just hated it. Oh, it's, it's so ugly. And I like see the fact that he's kind of wearing the jacket as a cape. I love that. I, yes, uh, yeah. yeah, so like I appreciate the thought behind that, and even the gloves as well. Like I get. Again, it all. I think see the whole thing was black and the boots were so shit. I mean, it worked. No, but you know, I was just thinking that like if it, if it was just more classic and not those shoes. Yeah. It, it would have been yeah. It would have been like oh yeah, that's Taylor Bell. Well, that's a nice like cool like yeah. Yeah, but unfortunately, Usher, I'm sure it would be devastated to hear that it has been a swing and a miss. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure when he's doing that, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure he's fine. And if I was Usher, I'm sure I'd be fine too. That sums us up. That's our thoughts on designer looks and celebrity looks. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you think. To my wonderful sister, thank you very much for being here as always. My pleasure. I know you will have already seen our movie vlog. Please excuse the production value. It will get better. We will see you soon for another episode of whatever the hell this is going to be called.